Um, guys, so um, I'm doing something really, really cool. So one of the things that I'm doing is I'm actually going to be recording and overcoming objections, and I'm going to put it out on Apple Music. So you guys will literally be able to put overcoming objections, you know, um, and it'll come up. Okay, I'm going to do multiple sections. So by the second week of next year, we'll have that. So anytime you're in the car, you'll be able to do it. And we're also going to roll that over into SoundCloud. I think there's been um, an absence of uh, good training audios. So, you know, I've decided to make a whole series and uh, it's free. It's free. You know, I'm not charging, not a dollar or anything like that. It's just so that our team, our organization can just get better because right? we can always uh, get better. So anyways, so guys, here are 10 points. Um, uh, before I do the prospecting, here are 10 points on how to become an into, uh, you know, an individual that is attractive, an individual that helps people, an individual that has good people skills. Okay. So, um, we'll start with number one. So, uh, number one, guys, please take notes. Don't uh, call someone more than twice continuously. Usually it's really urgent matter. If they don't pick up, wait until they return your call. So what I mean, you only call someone twice. If you call the first time and it goes to do not disturb, then you call again, right? Because people are on do not disturb. Do not call someone three, four, five times within a one day time frame. Okay, that is very, very annoying. Uh, Shar, you should probably uh, listen to the recording and not uh, drive and uh, take notes. Just an idea. Okay, I appreciate you, but just, you know, we don't want an accident. You can listen to the recording. It's all good. Okay, so uh, so like I said, don't call someone more, more than twice in a row. Okay, please don't. Okay, number two, if you borrow money from someone, return it. Okay, even before they ask for it. Okay, that's very, very important. If, if, if you borrow money from someone, you got to return it, right? Don't make it uh, somebody else's job to go behind you and be like, hey, when are you going to pay me back? When are you going to pay me back? Pay people back, okay? It's very good. Don't borrow the money if you can't commit to paying it back. Number three, when somebody treats you to a lunch or a dinner or anything, do not pick the most expensive thing on the menu, okay? If somebody treats you to lunch, okay, I'm serious. These are really good etiquette lessons. Don't pick the most expensive thing and also do not order to go. Okay, don't order to go. I remember one of the first times that I went out with, you know, with um, with my uplines, actually, and uh, somebody was ordering to go. And I was just like, what the heck? This guy is crazy, right? Dude ordered uh, food for him and then for his wife, right? It was like, what is going on here? Okay, that's really bad etiquette, right? Lane treats me to lunch and we go to, um, you know, Ocean Prime. I'm not going to order a steak, right? I'll get something very affordable, some pasta, uh, you know, salmon, something very, very uh, nice, right? Because again, um, when somebody treats you to something, don't get the most expensive thing, okay? Don't get the most expensive thing. Uh, number four, uh, be kind to waiters, to cleaners, to helpers, drivers, or anyone offering you um, uh, a service, okay? Be as kind as you would to the server than you would be to the CEO, okay? How do you remember that? Remember, server and CEO start with the same letter, okay, S. So I'm just kidding, right? But just be nice to everybody, okay? Be nice to everybody. Be nice to the server. Be nice. Um, why? Because this is how you know, right? You got to be very mindful of people. I look at how people treat others. If somebody t teaches, uh, treats a server out of place, um, why do why do I got to be careful with that person? Because that means if I was in that server's place, they would treat me the same way. So I know this person is treating me based on who I am and what I accomplish, not on, on respect and etiquette, right? So you got to make sure, always always be good, okay? Number five, always open the door, the door for the next person behind you. It doesn't matter if it's a guy, a girl, a senior, or a junior, okay? Um, you know, you don't grow small by treating someone well in public, okay? So just treat people nice, okay? Get in the habit, opening the door for the next person. Number six, let's say you're in a group of people. We're going to um, a club. We're going to a restaurant. We're going to the mall, okay? If you take a taxi with a friend or an Uber the next time and they pay for it, the next time you pay for it, it's not even a thing. You don't wait. You you know, don't wait to be that person where everybody's like, oh, well, who's going to order the Uber? Who's Order the Uber. If you ask that, you should have ordered it, okay? So if somebody pays a taxi or someone, or how about this, guys? What if... You know, you're a group of friends. One day you drive. Guess what? The next day you say, hey, bro, don't worry. I'll drive today. Right. Don't be a person like I always drive. I always drive. Don't don't be that person. OK, so remember, remember to go back and, and forth with someone. OK, number seven, respect different shades of opinion. What's a six to you might be a nine to someone else. OK, hey, look, one of the best things about living in America, you guys can both agree to disagree. 
Okay. You don't have to hate someone because they have a different perspective, right? They don't think like you. It's totally fine. You know, one of the best things, um, I'll teach you guys something. I, I, uh, there's this book that I've been meaning to read. I've skimmed through it and is uh, on Abraham's cabinet. The book is about, uh, almost 2000 pages. It's, it's like this, it's like a Bible. Okay. But I read things like that. And Abraham Lincoln, if you guys know, is one of the best presidents to ever lived. When he put together his presidential cabinet, he strictly put it together around people in politics that did not like him and have the same point of view. And to this day, he was one of the most presidents ever. When he was asked, why would you do that? He says, if everybody thinks like me, then how would I make a wise decision? How would I know when I'm making a wise decision? So Abraham's cabinet was put together of senators, right? Of, of people, uh, of governors, of lawyers, right? Of attorneys, of people in a state legislation that completely hated him, right? What a cool president, but it allowed to see different points of views, okay? Um, number, number eight, never interrupt people when they're talking. Wait until you finish. If you cut someone's off, you're telling them what I'm saying I think is more important than you. So don't cut people off. Here's a rule of thumb that I live by. When somebody's talking to me, I wait one to two seconds before I state my point of view, whether it's an objection, whether it's a friend, you know, um, sometimes guys, there's a recruit that was really going through a tough time. I spoke with her last night, you know, we spoke for some time. She's in other states. And I told her, I said, listen, sometimes there is nothing perfect or wise or comforting that somebody can do for you, except listen. So sometimes it's not about giving the best advice. Sometimes, guys, it's just learning how to listen. Okay, you got to learn that. Okay, so don't interrupt people when they're talking. Um, number one, if you tease someone and they don't seem to enjoy it, stop it and never do it again. Okay, if you're if you're teasing somebody, hey, when are you gonna do this? When are you gonna do that? You know, um, like I'll, I'll um, you know, something that now as I'm getting uh, wiser, I understand. You know, a lot of times newly married couples, uh, you know, people are asking or they have some kids and you say. Hey, when are you gonna have your firstborn? When are you gonna have your second? When are you gonna have your third? Most people, when they're married, try to have kids, guys. If they're not having kids, it, they're literally trying. It's just not working, right? So being, hey, when are you having kids? When are you having kids? You know, that's a that's something super serious. That as we grow wiser, we should understand that, right? There's people that try and can't. So don't be someone that asks somebody. I'm serious, especially in the holidays. You see your, you know, your newly married cousins. They've been married two, three years and having a kid. Don't say. When's the child coming? I promise you they're trying. It's just not working, okay? Um, you know, what else? Let's say you say a joke with someone. You say, oh, this and that, and they don't seem to enjoy it. Don't repeat that joke, right? Don't don't repeat it, okay? Because um, unfortunately, uh, most jokes have some truth to it, okay? So don't don't just always be, you know, playing. Don't always be playing with, with, with someone, okay? You guys ever seen those videos? You're playing with the wrong one. You know, sometimes people take that uh, serious, okay? What else do you need to know? You know, don't give it if you can't take it. Don't make jokes if you can't take it. If you can't take someone else saying something about you, you know, don't give it, okay? That's not good. Some people are very sensitive, okay? So um, if, if somebody's just, if they're enjoying the conversation, it's a joke. You know, I play very well with Brendan, with Ale, with Lewis, with um, Jason, with Eric, right? Those guys, I say, we say all types of mean things, but we don't take it serious, right? Maybe, you know, a long time, a while ago, I had someone on my team, you couldn't play with them. You know, they would pretend to laugh and, they would just wouldn't show up for two, three days, right? Very, very sensitive. So we learn we don't want to play with that person. Just different people, different ways. Okay. Um, what else? Number 10, say thank you when somebody's helping you. I know it sounds silly. Okay. One of the people that I learned to you rather be an overthinker, not overthinker, an overthinker. No one will get mad at you because you overthink them. One of the best at this is Prince Stepdad. Ted, you go see Ted and you go get dental work done with him. And he'll say, oh, my God, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Even after your surgery, he'll repeat thank you five, ten times. Dude makes me feel so special. So I learned, thank people. Thank them for their time. After a Zoom call, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay? Number 11, don't break your promise. Don't make one if you're not sure if you can keep it, okay? Um, don't, do your best to not break promises, okay? If you make a promise. Now, here's another thing. A lot of times, um, this, this one, you guys might have not thought about this. But as you guys have kids and you make promises to them, I promise I will pick you up this time. I promise we will go do this. I promise you do that. If you don't you keep that commitment because you don't have to, if you have a daughter, then you, you're teaching her that when she's older and she dates a man or is going on a date with a man and, or marries a man, if they don't live up to their expectation, you're teaching them that's okay. Because growing up, they thought it was normal. 
You with me? See, if you have a son and you teach them and you don't come through when you say you would, hey, we're going to play this time. We're going to do that. You're teaching him that it's okay to do that to his kids, right? Or maybe when he dates a, a woman, right? And they cancel or, or anything. They don't keep their promise that it's okay because subconsciously mom and dad did it all the time. So just don't make a promise you can't keep. Number 12, when someone tells you a secret, take it to the grave. Even if you wake up as worst enemies the next day, okay? Secrets, take secrets to the grave. If it's a secret, no one else should know, okay? One of the things that are the best things that I love about my, you know, my best friends, my core group, whether it's Lee and Ali, Lewis, you know, uh, Gabby, Arabo, whatever I tell them, it doesn't matter. We can wake up the next day completely opposites. I know that will never go anywhere else, okay? Um, I don't know if you guys know who Chad Boswick was, right? He was Mr. Black Panther, okay? As Chad Boswick was filming Black Panther, he had a terminal illness and was receiving chemo. Nobody found out he was sick until the day he died. Do you think his mom knew? You think his best friends knew? You think his, his relatives knew? Do you think, you know, the people that are close to him? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. They knew. But what a tight circle where that never was released until the day he died. Ain't that something? So, you know, that's a great uh, thing, okay? Um, number 13, okay? When someone shows you a photo on their phone, don't swipe to the left, don't swipe to the right, okay? When somebody shows you, hey, do this, don't do that. Don't do that. You never know what's on the left. You never know what's on the right. That's a really bad habit if someone takes your phone, but you don't have no business doing that. I showed you a picture, not my whole album. You with me? Like, don't, so, what does Drake say? She, you know, you're going to be upset if you look at <laughs> They said to the left, right? Don't don't say it. I'm serious, you know. Uh, here's another one too, guys. This is very serious. A recruit gives you a phone. You don't go past what they showed you, okay? Even me, as with all my RVPs on my team, you guys know I don't do that. Here, if you give me your phone, I'm gonna do that. If a message comes in, I don't open it. I don't need another pro. I don't need nothing. I just say, hey, look, you know, um, you know. Here's another thing that I will give you guys some advice. If your iPad is paired up to Apple Messages. Or your computer, stop that. Why? Because if you're on a presentation and you're sharing the screen and your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your mom, something sends you a picture, it'll automatically be there, right? Or shows you a comment, hey, you know, um, <laughs> whatever the case might be, right? If it shows in, a, a message comes in, it says, uh, Chase has deposited 13,000 13, deposits into your account. You might be sitting out with a cousin. Guess what? After the call, they might text you, hey, you know, holidays been kind of hard. You know, you got any way you can help me out? What if a message comes in and says, hey, you're delighted. This is the third message, delighted, delayed on your credit card bill. What if you're doing a presentation and, you know, your girl texts you and says, I can't wait for you to get home, right? Or your husband messages you today, we're role playing. What the heck? You don't want to do that, right? So don't pair your messages. Don't do it, okay? Go to your iPad right now, okay? And go and sign out. Just, just iMessage. Turn off iMessage. I'm serious. You'd be surprised. How often that happens? I was just telling one of my uh, on there, okay? Um, you know, here's a, a point number 14. Don't fix the time without being punctual yourself. If you're not on time, don't commit to a time. You can't tell people, hey, we're going to meet at this time, and then you're the first one late. Probably not a good idea, right, Carlos? If I say, hey, I'm going to schedule my test Thursday at 11, you better be here Thursday at 11, because if you do that, you respect my time. If you don't, you're playing with me. You with me? So... Uh, uh, do that, right? Uh, and, and point to number 15, never talk about your riches in the mindset of the poor. Similarly, don't talk about your children in the in the midst of the barren, okay? What does that mean? You know, uh, let me explain that to you. You know, some of you guys have beautiful kids. If you're with someone and they don't, maybe they don't have kids, right? Probably shouldn't talk about your kids, right? Uh, you shouldn't talk about making a million dollars, you know, with people that are poor, okay? The people that are poor, why? You know, or, or vice versa. You shouldn't talk about great health between people that are ill. You get what I'm saying? There's a time and place for everything, right? Not always. You know, you got to learn that. Wisdom is finding out when is the time, when is the place. Does that make sense? There's some conversations that need to be had, but they don't have to be had right now. You know, and if you're at work, talk about things at work. If you're at the house, talk about things at the house. You're a person. Not everybody has to um, know your personal life, okay? Um, uh, something's going on, you know, with the wife, with your husband, whatever that is with you. Something's going on with your kids. You know, let me tell you guys something. A 98% of people, um, don't care. Okay. Um, that it's happening to you. 
And then the 2% that do care are glad it's you and not them. So at the end of the day, no one really cares about what you're going through, right? Um, you know, you have a couple people, you know, in the word it says you want to confine to those around you, but it doesn't say to everyone around you, okay? Um, you know, with, with people, right, with your best friends, you know, get in the habit. You know, don't talk about all everything with everybody. You can't talk about everything with everybody, okay? You can't tell it. You know what's a really easy way to um to test it? You know, if you think you have a circle and somebody's leaking information, give them all three different secrets. The one that comes out to light eventually, you will figure out who will open their mouth, right? It's like, man, now I know. Can't trust you. Right. Uh, see, if people play with me, then I will play with them. Right. <laughs> but, um, you know, I was just that was just a joke. Right. Um, I saw that one time on that uh, these, that uh, show, uh, the dragon thing, the little adventure. He gives them all different secrets. <laughs> He's like, then he figure out who was leaking information. You know what I'm saying? And I saw that. I was like, wow, that's actually pretty genius. Right. But for the most part, guys, there's a time and a place. We don't want any malicious intention or anything like that. So hopefully, um, you know, uh, truth be told, I actually was scrolling on Instagram and I found these and I was going to develop PowerPoint. I thought it was just way better than what I had planned. So I was like, wow, these points really made me better. Um, so your job as a leader is to take complicated information and make it simpler and understandable for your team. Okay. So guys, um, so with that being said, um, you know, uh, Nicholas, stop the recording, stop it. And then you're going to start. And then there's another one I should say, and now I'll start it again. Um, guys, you guys should all be listening to audio and content over and over and over and over again, okay? Be like a pilot. Um, the first question is not how long you've had your license. It's how many hours you've flown, right? So let's do that. Are you ready, Nicholas? Is that good? Yep, I already started. Okay, per perfect. All right, guys, so <clears throat> today we're going to be, uh, we're going to be, uh, open that up, please. Give him his wallet. Yeah, right there. Um, so today, guys, we're going to be talking about how to prospect, okay? We're going to be talking on prospecting, 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 how to prospect people, okay? So this is Dinell. Uh, Dinell, you can say uh, hi to everybody. Hi, hey, everybody. Uh, okay, awesome. So uh, we're going to be here. You guys see us, Nick? Yeah, you guys can see us. Okay, perfect. So today, guys, we're going to be teaching you guys how to in-person prospect, you know, um, so, yeah, so we're going to learn some prospect. Okay, we're going to go to multiple scenarios. You should always be talking to people throughout your day all the time, you know. Um, the most dangerous man is the focused man, right? The most dangerous woman is uh, the focused woman. So manage your focus, okay? Always, you got to be looking at antennas. Like, you're always looking for IRP. You're always looking for great people. Okay? So let's say that we are at the store, Okay. That we are, um, we're at the store and, um, you know, we're in line shopping, right? So we're at Publix and he is, um, like scrolling, right? He's putting, and like we're in the line. Okay. So now you're starting to mount things. I'm right behind him, right? So, uh, keep in mind that now has a child, right? So he's a perfect five star recruit, you know? He's 25 years old. He's married with, uh, one child. Right? So, anyways, so we're going to come here, boom, boom, boom. And then I'm, I'm going to unsay. Um, you know, so let's say he's shopping and I'll say something like, Hey, is that cookies and cream? Yeah. Is that all? Is that, is, have you had that one before? Yeah. It's really yeah. Good. Yeah. Dude, actually I haven't, I've been on the fence about that brand, but you know, you guys buy it all the time. Yeah. I usually like what's my name is Edward. Great to meet you. Are you from the area? Yeah. I'm from, I'm from oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I actually live, um, right in downtown. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super cool. I thought, were you born out here? Or? No, I was born in Chicago. Oh, really? No way, dude. Me too. How, how long ago did you come? Um, about 17 years. Oh, a long time. Yeah. Yeah, like you're not years old. Yeah, what, what do you do for work? Now, if you don't mind me asking. Oh, um, I work in Walmart. Oh, really? What do you do there? Oh, I'm just got shit. I've been there for a while? Yeah, about like two years. Oh, that's not, you're probably like a manager or something, right? You know, I just actually here. Oh man, I hear you. Hey man, the reason why I asked um, is that I actually work with a financial office down the street, and we're spending looking for people. Um, would you happen to know anybody that might be looking for something part time as a career change? It's the time, money, and position, right? Yeah, I mean, here. I might not, but I'm, I'll be interested. Are you okay? I know this is not the sign in place, and I'm on a row. We're holding at the line. So here, um, what's your number? I'll give you a text message. I'll show you a text message. And we'll schedule a time to meet. Is that okay with you? Right, yeah. Yeah. What's your number? Eight one three. Okay. Perfect, man. Perfect. All right. Yeah. Then I'll, I'll give you a call. Um, maybe later today. All right. Is that okay? All right, man. Bro, it was great to meet you. Okay. Um. All right. That's a very 
simple uh, scenario um, of prospecting. Can you guys, uh, can you guys hear me? Is the audio good? Is the audio good? Yes? Okay. So look, so what are some of the things that you guys should uh, go over when you are prospecting with someone? Okay. So a couple of the things, right? You want to strike conversation either through a con, right? Through a compliment, you know, or followed by a question. Okay. Some of you guys say, well, if it's a guy or a girl, it doesn't matter. Okay. If you do a professional, you do a good job, it should be no problem. So one of the things that I do when there's a woman, you know, as soon as I talk to her, you know, after I say, Hey, is that, I'll say, Hey, can I ask you a question? So my girlfriend and I, we run a financial office down the street and we're actually looking for people. Um, do you know anybody that might be looking for something part-time? Because then that's going to like separate her. I'm not trying to date her. I'm not trying to give her a number to hit her up. Like we're talking about business, right? So ladies, you know, I would say, Hey, um, my husband and I, you know, my, my boyfriend and I, whatever. Okay. Uh, my partner and I, you can say my partner, people will assume that, you know, it'll be, you know, a life partner. Okay. So again, so when you guys are prospecting, what are some of the things? First thing you should do, you can start with a compliment or you can start with a question. And you can feel out the person. If the person's kind of like inviting, like what I'm going to prospect with the hell because he's look, look sharp. He looks fun, right? And if that now looks like a total slob, am I going to prospect him? No. Let me ask you this. What if you look like a total slob? Are people going to take you serious? No. So you should always be open for business, okay? You should always, always, always be open for business. I know, can you tell her to sit up? Give me one. Or are you selling? Can you sit her? Hi. You sell, I have good to you, Stella. You sell a schedule or figure plan split? Is this how we're winning to 1030? My organization too. We're always busy. Awesome. Uh, uh, always busy getting ahead. Getting my head. Anyways. Now, so are you guys got it? So uh, you want to do a compliment. You want to do, um, you know, you want to ask a question. Okay. So let's say uh, next uh, next scenario, let's say that uh, Danielle is right on the same aisle, maybe same aisle, right? They're doing uh, shopping. So he's looking at some stuff. And um, he's uh, looking at stuff and be like, oh man, oh, you getting diapers too? Oh yeah. Oh, how old's your baby? Three, that's awesome. Yeah, no, I'm just, um, these are actually not for me. My, um, it's my, uh, baby shower that we have coming up. So I just thought I had to. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I just, one of my cousins. Yeah, oh, my man. cousin, the large name. He's like crazy. Is that your only one or do you have? No, I was going Yeah, what's your name, man? Baby. No, my name's Epar. No, nice to meet you. Are, are you from the area? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, yeah, right, 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 right. Oh, really? Oh, no way, man. I've been downtown. No one has been here. I've been here for about 10 years. 10 years? Yeah. That's awesome, dude. That's awesome. Yeah, I've been here, shoot, going on almost 20. Yeah. Uh, we, yeah, it's a long time. So I'm like, what do you do for work if you don't mind me asking? I work at Publix. At Publix? Oh, Publix. dude, no way. Yeah, I actually used to work at Finish Line before I started doing what I'm doing now. Um, What's it called? But man, it was very strange. Hey, bro, quick question. You look like a sharp guy. You look like a sharp woman. You look like a sharp person. Maybe you can help me with something. I work with an office down the street. I'm in management and we're expanding and looking for people to work part time. Um, do you know anybody that might be looking for something uh, part time to make so much money for your career change? Yeah, I mean, I might be. But uh, you can see, I did ask him, I asked, do you know somebody? And then that they're usually going to um, say, what are they going to say? Yeah, me. What if they say, nope, I don't. Am I going to say, what about you? No, he wasn't even intelligent to figure it out. That I was asking him, right? So, so you're gonna ask him. So, do you know anybody? So, do you know anybody that might be looking for something, uh, you know, a part time, if the time, right? In the time, Iris, write it down. If the time, money, and position were right, do you know anybody that might be looking for something part time or a career change? If the time, money, and position are right. I mean, yeah, I might know something, but I might be interested. So what is it about? Are you? Okay, yeah. So uh, we're a financial office, so we do anything that has to do with money, uh, which is pretty cool. But yeah, dude, I'm actually in a rush right now. Always. I'm actually late to a meeting. I'm always, um, I'm actually in a rush right now. What I can do, I can take your number. I can call you later today, and we'll set something up. Is that okay with you? Is that okay with you? And then you go like this. Ready? Everybody with your cameras on. I'm looking at all you guys. Say, is that okay with you? And you nod your head. Okay. Why? Because if I nod my head, what does that mean? What are other people going to do if I nod my head? They are going to nod theirs. Does that make sense? So I'm looking at all you guys with your cameras on. Okay. Say yes. Okay, Fritz. Yes. 
Oh, right. Cool. Um, yes, Karen. Correct. Okay. So, um, okay. So you guys got it. So he's going to give me his phone number and I'm going to say, you know, I used to, when I was early in the business, I'll look down and try to get the phone number. Listen, guys, if somebody wants to give me their phone number, forget it. If they don't, it's no big deal. Right. I used to have all these techniques to get me up. Why? Because if I have to trigger up to give me their phone number, then I have to call. I'm not doing that. Right. I'm not doing that. It's got to be, it's got to be chess. Okay. We're playing chess. I make a move. You make a move. Okay. I make a move. You make a move. Okay. So, um, yeah, what I have to do is I can take your number. I'll give you a call at the table. We'll set something up. No, okay. Yeah. What's your number? Then I'll give it to you. Yeah. Um, here. And then I call it right then in there and I say, save it, save it really quick. Save it. Okay. Um, here, right. Save it under this number. You ready? So it's E and then M O N E Y. <laughs> what do what you spell out? Whatever your name is and spell money. What is it? I thought you're going to be like, money. He's like, yeah, dude, that's what we do. All right, man. I'll get you the bottom part. Boom. And I'm out the door. All right. What is it, Frank? I just saw you a good line. Just say, hey, write down your number. You got it? Okay, save it. It's E. So if you're, um, you know, if it's Frank, then I'll say, Frank, save it. Ready? S, spell out my. Um, so um, spell out my name, S, and then uh, my last name is, ready, M, O, and then E, Y. Usually they smile. They laugh. be like, absolutely, that's what we do. All right, I'm out the door. Boom. You guys got it? Okay. So uh, another scenario, let's say we're at the gym, okay? Um, you guys know I was prospected out of gym. Unfortunately, I got to get back in the gym. Uh, Gabby said to like it when I work out, but I usually work out. Um, you know, but anyway, so let's say we're at the gym and we're like lifting, uh, weights. Okay. We're lifting weights and, um, on there and he's hitting a, a set, right? Uh, why are you cruising your water bottle? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, so he's lifting, right? He's lifting, he's lifting. And, uh, I'd be like, dude, what are you, are you hitting arms today too? Yeah. That's awesome, dude. Yeah. Me too. You come here a lot. I haven't seen you here before. Uh, no, I usually like two or three days a week. Really? That's awesome. Yeah, dude. I'm working on like coming. Um, all the time, bro. I just moved. I'm getting uh, back in there. What's your name, bro? Like, no. Dude, LR, man. Great to meet you. Yeah, we got to link up, bro. I don't really like coming uh, by myself. Are you from the area? Yeah, yeah. I did your like, brother college came from the Oh, really? No way, dude. Yeah, yeah. so you've been here your whole life? No, I've been. I came from, I'm from Cuba. Oh, no way, dude. Yeah, I'm actually from Jamaica. So, like, we're going yeah, across. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, dude. That's awesome. What do you do for now if you don't mind me asking? Uh, I worked as a McDonald's man, dude. Oh, really? That's awesome. Man. How do you like it? It's it's all right. right. Yeah. No, dude. Hey, dude. Maybe you can help me out with something. I'm actually uh, in management in one of the local offices here, and uh, we're actually looking for people. We do things like um, investments, insurance, anything that has to do with money, and we're looking for people either part time or as a career change. Do you know anybody that might be looking for something part time? Yeah, I might know someone. Yeah. yeah. What is it about? Um, so it's just about making money, saving money, getting out of debt, and S G. People say, what is it about? Write this down. N-S-G. Making money, saving money, getting out of debt. But right now is not the time and place. So I'll take your number and I'll give you a call later. Is that okay? So I can finish with that. That's perfect. Yeah, yeah, dude, here. What's your number? Ready? All right. You got my call? Yes. All right. Save it really quick. All right. Yeah. My first name. Just put my uh, initial for first name, which is E. And then my last name. Ready? M-O-N-E-1. And usually they're like, so yeah, dude, that's what we do. All right. That's what we do. We end the money business. All right, man. I'll see you. Okay. I hit you up uh, later today. Is that cool? Do you want? So, yeah, cool. I'll shoot this. Cool. You know, what's the other non-threatening way? Maybe you guys don't like getting numbers. One of the things that I do, I get Instagrams because when they follow me on Instagram, they're going to see more than what meets the eye. They'll see my page. They'll see all that stuff. So yeah, I'll say something like, uh, yeah, dude, actually, bro, do you have a gram by any chance? Yeah, man. Right. People will give their Instagram much easier. And then what I do, I say, um, just follow me real quick. And I say it's E-D-U-A-R-R-21. Yeah, that's my Instagram, brother. And this is your number. All right, cool. So now you got my phone number and you got my Instagram. So you can put a face. I'll follow you back, okay? I have them follow me. Because if they don't follow me, then my message will go to the request folder. You got it? Perfect. So now, uh, next scenario, okay? Let's say you guys are, you know, um, I don't know, let's say uh, the nightclub, right? I prospected Ale and Lewis at a nightclub. You know, we were there, we had a section, boom, 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 and it was like loud. It was like, you know, bad buddy was going down the road, you know, we're popping bottles. And it was like, 
Yo, what are you having, bro? And uh, I'm like, you're you're a ballet worker. Oh, bro, we gotta get you out. We gotta give me your number. Okay, if you will call, I will tell the captain. Okay, yeah. And you make sure you ballet. And, uh, you know, you make a point to see them when your car gets pulled up. They see that Mercedes and I'm like, yo, what do you do? It's like, bro, we do everything with money, bro. I'll pay you a call. You know, we'll talk, okay? Boom. That's an easy way. All that jokes aside, right? But anyways, um, you know, always be prospecting. Always be prospecting. So let's say that, you know, you're at the park, right, with the kids. The park with the kids. You know, so they're playing. Um, and let's just be like, oh, which one's yours? Oh, the, the blonde one. The blonde one? Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, mine's the the big black one. It's my, uh, it's my, uh, my brother's child. His name's Lane. He's from Jamaica, so oh, really? know, we're actually kind of talks. Anyways, no, I'm just kidding. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's mine. Uh, his name is, uh, what's his name, Lee? Enrique. <laughs> yeah, his name is Enrique. Yeah, 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 yeah. you know, he's big in this guy's Right, he's like my best friend. Um, oh, dude, he's uh, he's three now. Yeah, huge. yeah, he's a big kid. Yeah, his dad's a big guy. Played football. Um, so what was his name? No, my name's Navar. Navar. I'm Greek. 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 Are you from the area? Yeah, yeah. I'm from here in Lake. I was. Oh, really? Oh, that's awesome, dude. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm actually from. Uh, I'm I'm actually from uh, Mexico. Yeah, yeah. I came when I was small though. Oh, like when you were in oh, dude, I was like probably like ten. What about you? How old are you? Oh, I'm I'm eighteen. Oh wow, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah I was a little younger than you when I came for sure. Yeah, I'm from college from Guatemala. Oh really? That's awesome. And so, what do you do for work now? If you don't mind me asking. Oh, uh, I work at a. Hey, get out of there, Ringo. Stop. No, thank you, Ramon. Hold on, I'm sure. Sorry, he gets. I don't know why. <laughs> so anyway, now what do you? So what do you say you do for? I work at an insurance company. Oh, do you really? No way. What do you do there? Oh, I'm so car shit. Oh, really? How do you like that? It's, it's, it's dude, that's crazy. I'm actually an insurance. Um, I'm actually, yeah, I'm actually an insurance with, it, um, with a local insurance company here in the area. We're actually looking for people now, man. Do you, hey, real quick, do you know anybody that wants to make uh, some extra money part time or maybe uh, change careers of insurance? I mean, uh, no, I don't know anybody, but I'm paying in the our industries. What is it about? Yeah, so we do anything that has to do with making money, saving money getting out of debt. But right now is not the time and place. So what I can do right now, I can take your number, I'll give you a call in a couple, um, you know, later today or tomorrow, and I'll give you the details. Is that okay with you? Right. Is that okay with you? And you nod your head. Is that okay with you? Yeah, absolutely. Um, okay. Awesome. 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 Yeah, dude. Here. Uh, what's your number? Hey, we ever gave my number? Call? Okay. Save my number real quick. It's E. And it's, my last name is M O N E Y. Okay. <laughs> oh man, it's one. Yeah, dude, that's what we do. We make money, man. You know. But if you look the part, it's cool, right? You, you give them your own name. You say Alejandro. You're my last name, right? Take my last name. M O N E Y. And they'll say, Oh, that's funny. You say, Yup, man. So you know when I call you, now you know what type of conversation we're gonna. Have. All right. All right, man. I'll see you later. Enrique, careful. Hey, hey, what's up? What's it? Be a little I know. Actually, uh, okay. Uh, let's say we're at another uh, place, and uh, another place, another uh, where the Chuck E. Cheese, and we're going to do. I say, man, I used to love this place as a kid. Not so much as the as the adult, though, bro. It's crazy. Dude, why crazy? Crazy. What's your name? They know. They know her. Great to meet you. Which one's yours? Oh, mine is like the little white. You know why I would? Yeah, yeah. My the the point brothers that are five and six with the sleeves, their dad had tattoos. They all oh, big into tattoos. I thought it was weird. You know, they got the, you know, the fake tattoos. Yeah, yeah, that's that's nice. Nice. yeah dude. Are you from the area? Yeah, yeah. I live here. In the... Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's super cool. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm on right in out of Carol. Oh, right. That's um, awesome. Weird thing. I'm actually uh, from uh, Guatemala. Guatemala? Yeah. Yeah, what about you? Oh, I'm from Guatemala. Oh, really? Oh, we're right there, man. We're like neighbors. That's awesome. How long have you been here? Oh, uh, for about 10 years. 10 years. Oh, wow. Yeah. A long time. Yeah, I've been here well, about the same. I like to love the vocation. 
Yeah, what do you think? How do you, you think? How do you press the board? Um, so we actually came on a boat. Did yeah, you know? we came on a boat. Yeah, we took a, a boat from a uh, real store and took a boat to uh, to the Bahamas and then from the Bahamas to uh, Key West. Long time. I'm a small. I don't remember large. And then, yeah, what about you? Oh, I just oh, I came to Brian going. It's all over the like, marriages. Oh, you cross the Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah my, my cousins came like that. That's cool. What do you do for work now? Oh, right now? I'm okay. currently working on a convention. Oh, really? Oh, that's what I used to do. Yeah, yeah. I used to, I'm sorry. That's what my, uh, my parents uh, used to do. Yeah, they no longer uh, work now. But yeah, man. Uh, but actually, man, maybe you can help me out with something, dude. Um, I actually work with a financial company. And um, uh, we, um, we're actually looking for, for people. You know anybody that wants to do something part-time if you make sexual money? Or a career change of the time, money, and position, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. Yeah. 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 Okay. But what is it about? So it's about what, guys? It's about making money, saving money, getting and adapt. But if I try to explain to you uh, right now, it's just not the place. So what I can do that now, I can get your number. I'll give you a call maybe later today as well. And we'll set up a, a time to maybe get some coffee. Is that okay with you? Yeah, yeah. Good. yeah. Okay. What's your number? Oh, it's no, no, Okay. Say it really quick. It's coming in. So my first name is Edward. E D U A R. Ready for my last name? It is M O E N E Y. <laughs> Don't usually laugh or smile and say, yeah, absolutely. Now you know what's that conversation right now. Okay. But, anyways, bro, I'm, I got to go check up on these points. All right, brother. Thank you. Cool. And I'll get out of there. Okay. Um, let's say another one. Here is what I get. Like, there are moments in my business, at least, where I have no traction and I can decide if I want to be an average person. And do nothing and wait for the numbers to cycle around or if I'm going to be proactive about what I do. So one of the ways that you can do, always think if whatever you're doing, what would the average person do? Okay. And whatever they would do, you would do the direct opposite. I said, if I was average right now and I had no appointments at eight or nine, I would go home and do nothing. But because I'm going to be the youngest million dollar earner in the company, I cannot do that, right? I have to get on here, go through my phone, and call people and set up more appointments, respond to messages, call my team, check up on people, schedule exams, and do a review. Because that's what it takes for me to do that. Because every day that I do the most that I can do is three to four days that I beat that financial independence number at a younger age. You with me? So if you're not doing that, it's because you're not clear on what you want with your life. If you become very clear and you say, I want um, lifestyle, I want a better lifestyle, I want a better house, I want to be better for my kids, I want to be better for my wife, I'm going to be uh, the best that I can do, I want to get this car, I want to get this house, I want to save this amount of money. Okay, if that's what I want, I have to take action to that. Some of you guys are not clear on what you want, okay? Get very clear and do the opposite. Okay, so when I have no activity at all, I'm going to leave my office and I'm going to go up to people. I'm going to put on my best clothes. And as I'm, I'm going somewhere, I'm going to look and in my mindset. Okay, I got to get 10 to 20 numbers as soon as possible. This is what I do. Nobody's better than me at this. I'm the man. I can do this. That's what I tell myself. If you think about something more than five seconds, you usually won't do the right things. Okay, So because why? Because I look if what type of man do I want my kids to be? How do I want my wife to look at me? How do I want my sisters to look at me? I want them to look like if it's got to get done, Edward's going to do it. Stress, Edward's going to handle it. If there's a bill, Edward's going to pay. No matter what, Edward's going to handle it. So that's how I want them to think of me. So I have to take the right action. So you guys, if you have kids, you have to think, you know, Brittany, mom always knows, right? Or the sister, but everybody always knows that Brittany's going to, right? Same thing with you, the least, right? Your kids, all of them. Don't worry. I got it. Give me all your stress. Give me all your burden. Give me all the responsibility. Now, with that being said, okay, much is given, much what, guys? Much is required. So when you have nothing, Sasha, you get out of your feelings and your emotions, and you say, I'm going to go and make it happen. So I go out, and I look sharp, and I say, okay, I got three hours. I'm going to get 15 numbers in three hours. And this is exactly how I do it. I get off the car, I'm walking in, and let's say if I was, um, though, I mean, Danielle's walking in, I said, hey, brother, a quick question. You look super sharp. Maybe you can help me out with something. I'm opening up an office right down the street, and I'm looking for people to work in the financial business. Do you know anybody that might be looking 
to make some extra money or or a career change at the time when you position right. You know what I might be. You okay? Listen, brother, I'm actually in a rush right now, but I'll give you a number. I'll give you a call and then you get all the details. Is that okay? Right. Yeah. What's your number? Five uh, eight one. Okay. Perfect. All right. Yeah. Um, Edward uh, Fernandez. Okay. And then cool. I mean, hey, I'll give you a call. All right. Next. And I'm going to say, hey, really quick. I'm at a shopping plaza. People are like, hey, hey, what's your name? But, you know, and my name is Edward. Great to meet you. Hey, brother. I know this is kind of weird, but um, you know, most people don't come up to, but I'm going to be opening up an office here in the zip code, and I'm looking for people to work. I need 30 licensed agents before I can open up the office. Right now, I have 15. I need about 15 more. Do you know anybody that wants to work in the money business, investments, insurance, things like that? We'll be all the licensing, all the training. We just need some people. If they're bilingual, even better. Do you know anybody? Well, yeah, I'm by Jason. So it's about making money, saving money, getting out of debt. If I try to explain it to you right now, I won't have enough. Uh, here, I'll give you a number. I'll give you a call in the next couple of days. I'll go from there, okay? Go, 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 go. Save my number. Okay, next one. You with me? Everywhere. A parking lot's a great way. You go to Target. Uh, on the way up, you see somebody walking up with kids. You know, hey, brother, hey, real quick. But you have to look the part. You can't be in sandals, in shorts. If you're a lady, you got to be dressed. You know, here's the thing. All right? You got to figure out what market makes you feel comfortable. Some people like working with young Hispanics. Some people like working with bilingual. Um, you know, some people like working with, um, you know, people want to work with people that are just like that. So you don't, you, you could build a business in the market you feel comfortable with. You with me? If you're Jamaican, talk to Jamaican. If you're American, talk to Like talk to whoever you think. Here's another thing too. You guys ever heard of target marketing? You know what that is? It's marketing to your target. So what do I what markets do I like working with? I like working with people that are 25 to about 45 years old, play sports on in high school, professional level, or at the collegiate level, okay, and that are bilingual. That's the market that I like working with. So when I see people like that, I even quicker. Okay, so let's say again. I know it's coming. Out there. Hey, uh, what's your name? Hey, my name's Corby. Really sorry to bother you. Um, maybe I can help you with something. I'm opening up an office in this zip code and I need about 30 licensed agents. So we do anything in the money business, so insurance, investments, agents. Right now, man, I'm out of time crunch. I got to open up this office by your RVP date, you know, by May, by June, whatever, by, you know, things. I got to open up this office by uh, July and I need about, um, you know, another six licensed agents. Do you know anybody that wants to make some extra? Money part for career change at the time. Money in position, right? No, whatever. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So I'm making money, saving money, getting out of debt. Can't explain to you right now because I don't have this. So I'll take your number now and I'll give you a call. So is that okay with you? Okay, perfect. Okay, now um, we're going to take, I'm going to take recommendations. So what places do you guys want to see me prospect? Okay. Okay, um... What about door knocking? I've never done door knocking. Oh, I have done door knocking before Primerica. I didn't door knock because I didn't want my guys to door knock. And before I know it, their team door knocks. And then that's not how we build it, right? So I like prospecting and then doing this. Okay, church. Right. Uh, okay, I'll go to church. Okay, so we're at church. And, uh, you know, at church, whatever. Hey, man, that was a great service. Church is the easiest. It's the easiest, right? Hey, that was a great service, wasn't it? Yeah. What's your name? Oh, my name is Edward. Man, great to meet you. Do you come to Grace Hall? Yeah, yeah. A long time, long. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, you probably you probably go to opposite sides. And I haven't seen you before. You said it was what? Like, they know. They know. Awesome. My name is Edward. Are you from there? Yeah. I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Make sure you're muted, guys. And think. And then the right position. Nice. What do you do for work now? If you don't mind me asking. Um, just... You always ask, "What do you do for work?" You now, you don't mind me asking. Yeah, I mean, I'm a manager of part. Oh, nice. Yeah, my girl loves that place. Literally, yeah. she's Honestly. dangerous when she goes there. She's the worst. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, what do you, um, that's awesome, man. That's awesome. How long have you been working there? Well, what, a year and a half. Yeah. Okay. It's pretty sure. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Hey, bro, maybe you can help me with something. I'm actually, in, so here's another line I'm the manager in charge of recruiting. I am the manager in charge of recruiting at a financial office down the road. I'm actually looking for people. Do you know anybody that might be looking for something part time or career change? Time money position, right? No, but what is it about? What do you have? So um, it's about making money, saving money, getting out of that. But I don't have the time right now. So what I can do now, I can kind of give you a call. 
maybe later today or tomorrow, and then we'll 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 get some coffee. I chance. Is that okay with you? Is that okay with you? And you nod your head. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Awesome. Here. Ready? Say my number. Edward. For the evidence. Yeah. On Instagram by chance. Yeah. Oh, dude, yeah, right. yeah. There you go, man. Now we I can put out on uh, you know face number as well. Awesome. Perfect. Uh, restaurant. That is a good one. A lot of times when I go to restaurants, I want to prospect the the hostess. I want to practice uh bot and prospect the server. Right. Two for one. So left day on there, I'll be like, hey, uh, yeah, table for two, please. But yeah. How much longer? Is there, there a wait? Oh, man, that's a long wait. That's a long wait. Oh, oh, man. Man. Has it been like that all day? Yeah. Really, man. Have, have you been there all day? Yeah. 8 a.m. Wow, man. That's brutal. They have you working doubles? Yeah, man. That's brutal, man. You're working like 12 hours. Where? Are you, are you in college right like that? Oh, no, I'm not kidding. Our team. I'm having some venture issues. So oh, really? Oh, man, I'm sorry to hear that. Hey, maybe I can help you with something. You know, I'm, I'm actually the, the uh, I'm in management. I'm in charge of the expansion with an office down the road, man. Yeah. We're looking for people. It's above market pay. It's above market pay. It's above market pay with flexible hours. What I can do uh, that I know is I can take your number. Maybe you call, see if we can set something up. Oh, yeah, man. Sure. And, oh, pretty yeah, sure. I know you're at work right now. So I'll be super ready. Um, what's your number? Cool. Oh, yeah. There you go. Do you have an Instagram? Yeah. yeah. There you go. I'm going to follow you. Okay. Yeah, I know you're at work. So he really. Oh, yeah. Right this way. It takes me all there. When you prospect servers, you wait to the very last minute to ask for their contact information. Go for it. You build rapport as they bring in your booth. Right? So as uh, they know, so they're going to be serving, hey, man, that's awesome. Dude, I like your haircut, you know, super cool. What do you recommend? Blah, blah, blah. That's awesome, right? I'm dressed sharp. Cool. All right, I'm going to pick up the bill with five, six people. Or I usually yeah. always pick up the regardless. But anyways, so um, Eileen and Lewis never want to pay for me or Layden or none of these people. Or Ari, Jenner, Burks, never. Anyways, um, anyways, so oh, they'll, you know, they'll, they'll come and they'll talk. Talk to me and then right at four in the end said, Hey man, you did you've done you've done a great job. I know thank you so much for serving us, man. You did a, a great job. How long did you say you working here? For about a year. Year, man, you're really good. Hey man, listen, I actually work with a company uh, down the road, that office. I think you could be a great asset to the team. So it's above market pay with flexible hours. Why don't I give you your contact information? I'll give you a call in a couple of days. See if maybe we can set something up. Is that okay with you? Yes. Yeah, man. I know you're at work, so I'll be yeah. what's your number? Blah 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 blah. Got it. All right. Hey, man, thank you. When you prospect the server, wait till the end. Wait till the end. If you do before, every time they come, they're going to be like, what do you do? What's the bait? What's the powers? What's the company? Blah, 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 blah. Does that make sense? Okay. Now, um, I'll do one more scenario. Oh, no, actually, that was it. Uh, Tarjay. That's the same as Publix. Jeez. Sasha. Right, but we just did that. We did targeting, you know. Um, so let's say I'm getting some electronics, and I'm on there, and I'll say I'm Tar, I'm Tar James, and I say, uh, you know, what, what do you, um, what do you, are, are you looking for those things too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's awesome. Yeah, my We're net team has been, has been like really into really. I, I didn't even use them for the gym. Yeah, though my nephew, they use Roman. He's playing uh, college football, you know, and he's just he's been like asking me because he knows that why I'm. Right. Yeah, those are really nice stories. Yeah, he knows. He just asked me, I'll get it. But anyways, uh, yeah, are you from the area? Yeah, I'm from here, but I'm building here. Oh, nice, man. My name's Edward. Oh, nice to meet you. Great to meet you. Great to meet you. Awesome. How is Christmas? A bunch of these, huh? Yeah. Yeah, they're not even getting started. I said, like, freaking 2,000 bucks on getting this, man. Yeah, right. Because no, it's probably, I mean, it's probably kids. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's definitely about giving. For sure. Hey, bro, maybe you can help me with something. I'm actually in management. At a local office on the road and uh, work training and looking at people, you look like a sharp person. Do you, you know, sharp people usually know other sharp people. So, do you, by any chance, do you know anybody that might be looking for some extra money part time or career change of the money um, a position? Right? Yeah, I mean, I might know something, but what, what is, is it about? So, it's about, 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 yeah, it's about making money, saving money, you that, but if I try to explain to you now, we won't have the time. So, what I can do is I can have your number and I'll give you a call a couple of days. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, it's that's good. yeah, okay. What's your number? Blue blue blue. Okay, now the RC, what was it? They know. Thank God, dude. Edward, great to meet you. Okay. And boom. Okay. Now, um, let's say some of you guys uh, are prospering in life, right? You know what helps me? I drive a Maserati. I drive an IE. I live in a Skyrise. 
you know, anything on the elevator, on the way, oh, where do you live? I live right there. What floor do you live? I'm actually on the top floor. You know, what about you? How long have you been working at this coffee shop? You know, when I used to live at, when I live, I live around there. I used to go across the street about once every month or once every two to those little stores. And I used to always be like, yeah, I just walked over. I live right across the street. Usually they'll be like, oh, no way. What floor are you on? I'd be like, I'm at the top floor. Right. How long you've been working here? You know, leverage that. You have a nice car. Right, Frank? You got a nice Mercedes? Leverage that. You know, leverage what you have. If you look nice, if you have nice shoes, leverage it, okay? Um, anyways, guys, so I'm going to call on one of you guys now. And let's see who, uh, you know, who's going to do it. So uh, Juan, let me see. I don't see Juan on camera. Do you see Juan on camera? Uh, okay. Is Juan there? Juan? No, okay. All right, Juan. You are going to prospect. Uh, you're going to prospect me, Juan. Okay. We're done in about... Uh, oh, actually, this is the last one. We'll wrap it up with this. So, Juan, prospect me, okay? You're going to be the only person I call on. Can you hear me? Okay. Who can talk? Can you talk? If not, I'll pick on somebody else. We'll wrap up the training with this. Okay. Mm, baby. Uh, okay, scan on mute. No worries. I got you, bro. All right, Juan. So this is the scenario. I am, um, I am at a Target. Okay, out of Target. Come out here, and we're shopping, and we're in line, putting things. You're right behind me. Hello. Oh. Actually, how about this? I'm the one. I'm the. I'm the one scanning you on. You're at Target. Okay. How was your shopping experience? It's good. Yeah, it was good. Okay. Oh, uh, that's good, man. No. We're running into stuff. It's fun. Um, um, I, how do you like, um, working, um, right, right now here? Oh man, it's super stressful. How pays yeah. the worst. I've been trying to get out of this job for the longest time. I think. Yeah. Um, I actually, um, I'm a recruiting manager for office right down the street. Um, and, and I'm actually looking for people. Um, do you know anybody that is keeping their options open? Yeah, me, man. Absolutely. What is it about? Yeah. Um, so it's about saving money, uh, saving money, making money and getting out of debt. But right now it's another time because I, I'm super, um, urgent to get back to the office. So, so what I can do for you is I can, um, get your number and I can give you a call later. Okay. Okay. Perfect. All right. Yeah, absolutely. Here's my number. Well, okay. Perfect. Actually, I'll do another one. What about uh, you, Jesus? Asus and Glenda, I know you want to give it a shot. You seem like you're in a quiet place. I like him. Yeah. So here's the scenario, um, Jesus. I am at uh, I am at the park with my kids, right? Hey, hey, um, how are you doing? Oh, I'm good, brother. How are you? I'm doing great. Doing great. Uh, um, so you come to this program a lot? Yeah, yeah, my um, my niece really likes it. She's always here running around, her and her little sister. So like both of those are, are me. Well, that's pretty cool. This so is my I first. Yeah, well, this is my first time. I, we just move in this area. I, I, are you from this area? Uh, yeah, man. I'm actually, well, I'm actually from Cuba, but I've been living here for oof, almost 20 years now. Well, yeah, well, that's great. That's great. Um, We just moved here a couple of months ago from uh, Virginia, so we're just checking out the area. And I'm just right now um, taking my niece out. You know, she wanted to go out, check out the area. That's awesome. So um, what are you doing right now for a living? Um, if you don't mind me asking. If you don't mind me asking. Um, I work over at a finish line. Yeah, I just went to a wedding. That's why I'm like this. Yeah, I work over at finish line. I saw shoes at finish line. Oh, um, so um, how you like it? I hate it. You hate it? Oh, see, I've been there uh, 11 years now, man. Long time. I started when I was 15, uh, 12 years now. Yeah, I'm 27. Oh, wow. Well, so um, right now I'm a, um, I'm a manager, a hiring manager at an office right now, and we're expanding. We're looking for people that um, sharp, you know, you look, you look very sharp, you know. Um, yeah, ask me a question. Do you know anybody? Do you? Or some, are you? You know anybody that might be looking for something extra part time? If the time, money, and position. Do you know somebody that's looking for uh, um, a part time or, or a change of career? If the um, time and money is um, 
Patricia Wright? Yeah, absolutely, me. Oh, really? Well, uh, I don't have to write, uh, I don't got that much time right now. If you, you don't mind, I can get your number and I can call you later. There you go. Cool. Perfect. All right, guys. Hey, that was good for today. Remember, before you are good at something, you have to be bad. Okay. And before you're great at it, you got to be good. And before you do anything, you have to do it. Okay. So anyways, hopefully you guys learn. Let me give you guys something to look for anyone that needs help on their presentation this week, Monday through Friday from 1030 to 12. I am doing a training on the presentation, on the presentation, on how to do a Primerica presentation. Okay, so at 10, 30, 12, I'm going to put the meeting ID here. It's my phone number, which is 813-389-5991. And then the password is one. So again, it's 813-389-5991 is the meeting ID and the password is one. All you guys are welcome to get in it. Okay. If you're in Tampa, you should be in person. If you're on Zoom, then, you know, then yeah, plug in. Okay. You're welcome to plug in. This is for someone that either uh, probably less than four months in the business, less than three, four months in the business, you can come in and, uh, and learn. Or if you just haven't done a lot of presentations, you guys are all invited. Okay. I'm starting it now. All right, guys. Hopefully you guys learned something. Talk to you guys later. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. Bye. You like it?